So this is my Aldi haul. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the sinned bits um, and then I'll show you the other bits that are like free or healthy extras or um, speed and stuff like that. And then the other bits that are not edible, I'll show you those bits as well afterwards because I got some little cute stuff for Alana that I just think are super cute. But yeah, so I've got this from Aldi and I've also got a couple of bits that I couldn't get from Aldi um, from Tesco but literally just a bag full, not a lot at all. Um, I've sinned everything, everything's up to date sin wise for today which is Friday the 19th of February 2021 so if you are checking after today then obviously double check the sins yourself I would really hate for it to be wrong information if you're watching it on a different day because you know what Slimming World's like, it is constantly changing so yeah, I'm just going to dive straight in there is quite a lot, you can probably see there there's quite a lot of junky stuff. However, everything that I've looked at, nothing is past 15 sins for the portion or for the whole thing. So really, with Slimming World being so flexible, you can technically have anything. If you've got that sin allowance, then nothing is off of limits for you, or especially not the stuff that I've got here. So yeah, there's a lot of chalky stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of crispy stuff. Um, the majority of that is for Kevin the kids because obviously they're not needing to diet by any means. Um, so the majority is for them. However, I've sinned everything so I can let you guys know. But also, if I do fancy it, then I know exactly where I stand as well. So yeah, let's crack on. So I've got over here... I've got some of these ready to walk medium noodles. Now, I saw this on someone else's vlog that there are only two sins per bag, which I thought was really good because I do like the normal dried version. However, I do think these ones do genuinely taste nicer. So there's two 150 gram bags. 150 grams is plenty for one person. So yeah, two sins for that. Happy days. And we're having Chinese for um, dinner this evening. We're having Mayflower curry for me and Alyssa, and then the boys are having sweet and sour curry. So if you want to see what else we've had, then obviously you can catch my what I eat in a day, which I post those dailies, and I've got one going today. So yeah, two sins a bag, not bad at all, and cheap as chips as well at Aldi. So I've got two of those that you can just see there. And then up here, the um, kids wanted some some of these kind of split pots yogurts they specifically requested them they love all the chocolatey ones and as you can see there the two different sin values so for the banana choco flakes they're just seven sins each and then for the vanilla choco balls they are seven and a half sins each so again not bad at all if you've got the sins to use you might as well use them on something yummy down here my husband's favorites i've got some viennese fingers they're three sins each down here I got some of these little snack chocolate flavour, they go in the fridge, they're like a, a soft sponge with like a vanilla filling, um, they're seven sins each which again not bad if you've got the sins. I got some chocolate digestives, they're four sins each, got some chocolate oaties, they're five sins each. These chocolate oaties are like um, Aldi's version of hobnobs with the chocolate on the top so if you do like hobnobs they are very very nice. These are for the kids. I've got some um, teeth and lips. They're four and a half cents per 25 grams. I mean, the whole bag is 75 grams. So yeah, one third of that is four and a half cents. I've got two bags of those. I've got two bags of the jelly cherries. Again, four and a half cents per 25 gram. And they're another 75 gram bag. And then the Haribo giant straw. One and a half sins each, which I thought was great. I did think that they were going to be higher in sins than that. But yeah, one and a half sins. I'll definitely be diving into them. So, moving on. Chocolate chip cookies. The two and a half sins each. They're just the everyday essentials version. The cheaper ones from Aldi. Because they get snapped up in our house. So, yeah, they need to be cheap. Otherwise, I'd end up bankrupt. <laughs> Prawn crackers. Quite heavy in sins, 75, uh, 75, seven sins per 25 grams. So you don't get a lot for 25 grams, but if you do fancy some prawn crackers, then the seven sins. 
mini marshmallows because I've run out of the ones that I got from Asda. They're four sins per 25 grams. I only usually use around about 10 grams, so two sins for about just over 10 grams. Um, Choco break, five and a half sins each. The Jive bars, they're nine and a half sins each. Takeaways are seven sins each. And then the racers are nine sins each. And the Titan bars are eight and a half sins each. So if you've not tried these before, these are like Mars bars. These are like Snickers. These are like, oh, what they're called. Not takeaway. No, can't remember the name, but there's there's like a an actual proper brand. These are a rip-off version and they're like them. Jive, they're like um, Twixes. And then the Choco Break, I like Kit Kats. Up here, these are for Alana. But again, I do like Oti kind of bars. And these are like a little bit of a flapjack. Um, they're just five sins each. That's a banana flavour. And then that one is strawberry and apple. And these are in the baby section. So, you know, if you do like that kind of thing, then five sins each isn't bad at all for a 25 gram bar. Here, I've got some Jaffa cakes. And again, these don't last long in our house. Two sins each. I've got some cheesy topped bread rolls. We're having burgers tomorrow and Alyssa asked for these. And again, she's not dieting, so 10 and a half sins is absolutely fine. I've got my own bread rolls. I'm, well, I say bread rolls. I've got wholemeal rolls in the freezer, um, but I am really enjoying having a burger on one of the Healthy Extra B bagels, which is the New York Bakery Company ones. And I've got those in the freezer, so I'll have that. Down here got super noodles, the kids absolutely love super noodles and they are quick for lunches and stuff, they're 10 sins a pack. Groovy biscuits, 6 sins each, the milkshake biscuits are 6.5 sins each. I've got some blue dragon black bean stir fry sauce sachets, they're 7.5 sins each and when you're splitting it between a couple of you, that's not bad at all. I absolutely love black bean and they're on offer in Aldi so I snapped up four of them. Red pepper hummus, that's two sins per tablespoon. I've got some sweet freedom syrup. It's the fruit syrup and that's half a sin per teaspoon. I've not tried this one yet, so hopefully I enjoy it. Oh, I've not seen something. I've got some sliced brioche burger buns. These are for my husband. He specifically requested them. Let's have a quick look. I've actually missed something out. 157 calories. Um, what I'll do, I'll pop it along the bottom, but that's probably around about, what, so, two, four, six, eight, ten. So, you're looking at around about eight sins of brioche bun, I'd say, but I'll confirm on the bottom. Up here, my absolutely favourite rice cake bars, the chocolate and orange ones, they're four and a half sins each and worth every single one. Over here, I've got some Cheesy Puffs, a rip-off of What's It's. They're five sins each. I think the What's It's are four and a half sins each, so only slightly less. But Alana absolutely loves these, and so do kids, so I bought some more. Some Puff Pastry Twists, they're two sins each. Original Breadsticks, one sins each. Some Little Delight Yogurts for Alana, that's one sin a yogurt. And then here... I've not seen these because I have zero intention of eating them and I can't imagine anyone else will because it's just pureed fruit. But I'll show you anyway. I got some um, organic Mamiya Pink Burst, which are raspberry and cherry flavoured fruit pouches. And then here I've got her a selection. She's moving up from the other stage um, food to this is the next stage because she's almost 12 months old, bless her. So I'm going to give her a whirl and I thought she could just try the vegetable and beef casserole one, the spaghetti with tomato and mozzarella sauce, vegetable and chicken risotto and she's going to try the spaghetti bolognese. So fingers crossed she likes them and they are a really good size. So yeah. And then here I've got some of just the Aldi's own village bagels, the plain ones and they're 11 cents each because tomorrow... I'm doing my own version of like a Mackey's breakfast. So that'll obviously be on Saturday slash Sunday's vlog, depending on when I post it. So yeah, so that's this bit. And I will show you the next. 
So this is the other bits of the sinny kind of stuff. The sins and anything that you could use as like a healthy extra is here. Um, here I've got some battered chicken chunks. They're 6.5 sins per 100 grams. You can just see that per 100 grams there in the frozen section of Aldi. These are for the boys' um, sweet and sour chicken. Down here I've got some Aldi's own hash browns. They're two sins each. And again, that's for tomorrow's breakfast. These are the six breakfast pork patties. They're three and a half sins each. I won't be eating them because I don't eat pork, um, but they're good to know for anybody that does. If you fancy a makeshift McDonald's, then these are the things to go for. And I've only found them at Aldi. I can't find them anywhere else. Well, I say that I only shop at like Aldi, Asda and Tesco, and they're not at any of those, um, or at least not at ours anyway. Up here, I've got some large vegetable spring rolls. They're five and a half sins each. I've got some spreadable butter. That is one and a half sins per teaspoon. I've got some of Aldi Emporium light cheese slices. I love plastic cheese, especially in a burger. So I'll be pretty much the only one eating these because the rest of the family don't and think I'm very strange for liking it. But hey-ho, more for me. Um, you can have three of these slices for your healthy extra... Oh, I brought healthy extra B. Healthy extra A, so ignore that. Healthy extra A. Or you can have two, um, thin them at two sins each for per slice. Up here, I've got some flaming hot Watsits. Each bag is four and a half sins. They're just for me. Um, nobody else is allowed to touch them. <laughs> Up here, I've got some of the orange fish, um, nearly said fish fingers then. Orange chocolate dairy milk fingers. Uh, new out. These were from Tesco, five and a half sins per four fingers, which I didn't think was bad. And down here, I've got some of the Aldi's British mature coloured cheddar cheese slices. Proper cheese, my husband says. They're five sins per slice. And I think each slice is 25 grams. Don't say there. Um, it says it on the app per 25 gram slice. Um, so I'm sure you could probably just weigh out 30 grams and do it as your healthy extra A. I don't know. And then up here, I've got some tomato ketchup from Tesco because I forgot to pick it up while I were in Aldi. That's just half a sin per tablespoon. This, it's just the cheapo version because it's going in the sweet and sour sauce tonight. So I always just use a cheapo one. And then I've got a few of these 10 cal jellies, which are half a sin each. So I've got a mango, mango and passion fruit. Do, do, do. Black currant and um, blueberry. Read that backwards. And then a raspberry one as well. So what I'm planning on doing, oh, I've got an extra black currant one because Alyssa wanted to try it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my own version of a trifle using these, using that, using a banana yogurt. And I think it's going to be amazing. But obviously you'll see that in my what I eat in a day. And then here I've got a fruit and jelly. This isn't for me. I've no idea on the sins. Um, this is for Alyssa. She wanted to try it to see if she likes them, to whether it's going to be something that we buy in the future. I've got some sprinkles to go on top of the trifles that I'm going to make. They're one sin per teaspoon, which again I didn't think was bad. And some 30% less fat dairy spray ice cream. That's one and a half sins per 13 grams. And I've got some wholemeal bread, the Aldi's Everyday Essentials. You can have two slices of this as your healthy extra bean. And then also, I do have some yogurts that I forgot to show you in this bit um, that I'll pull out now because it's buried under the other bits. So I'll show you all that lot now. So finally, this is the last bit. These bits are all, if I've done it right, these bits are all speed or free. Um, and then there's some non-eatable stuff as well that I'll show you. So again, there's just literally one, two... I think two things I got from um, Tesco and I'll obviously point them out as I go through. Otherwise, 99.999% of the shop was from Aldi today. So down here, this is one of the things from Tesco. One kilogram of spaghetti. It was 39p. I thought, why not? 39p, you can't go wrong. And that was on like their bargain aisle. So we'll give that a whirl. These three, I've got a couple of bottles each, but I'm only showing you one of each. Um, I've got some grape soda, root beer and cream soda. These are all on the app. 
and they're all completely free. I've tried the grape soda already and it is absolutely delicious. My daughter's tried the cream soda and she says it's fab. So I do think that these are gonna be on the list again and my husband loves root beer. Here I've got some Pepsi Max and again, I've got a couple of bottles of it, so I'm not showing you them all. This is the other thing that was from Tesco, free on the plan. So bonus if you're an addict like me when it comes to Pepsi Max. Got some pickled gherkins, which are speed, two packs of bananas, which are free. I've got two packs of the sweet vine ripened tomatoes. They're part of the super six and they are speed. I've got a cucumber, which is speed. And then I've got a selection of yogurts. Well, I say a selection. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five of the banana and custard yogurts and then just a poor lonely smooth toffee one. And it was because literally that was the last one that they had of that. Um, otherwise I would have got more of the, the toffee ones because my husband prefers those. And these yogurts are all half a cent each. I've got some golden delicious apples for Alyssa. They're speed, Brussels sprouts, which are speed, broccoli, which is speed, the mixed leaf salad and the wild rocket both speed. Some sweet mini peppers, they're speed. Courgettes, speed. Strawberries are speed. Pink lady apples, they're speed. Bean sprouts, which are speed. They're to go in tonight's um, Chinese. Here I've got some big, um, like the big oranges, just chop them up, perfect. They're also speed. A big watermelon, which is speed. Non-eatable stuff, some bedtime bath for the kids. Um, yeah, not eatable. I was ne I nearly said free then, but it's not. Don't advise you eating it at all. Some foaming soap. Um, I've got some cat food. Again, don't eat that. <laughs> some dark soya sauce, which is free. Some fry light butter flavour, which is free as well. And then I picked up these for Alana, which I thought was fantastic because she's getting to that age now where she's starting to understand how to use like a fork and a spoon and stuff. So... Yeah, even Alyssa wanted one of these and I'm like, Alyssa, yeah, you've got just gone 10. You definitely don't need one of these. And she was like, yeah, good point. Um, and then down here, the absolutely cute items that I got Alana, 12 to 18 months. I'm not ready for her to be this big. I just bought a, a three pack of baby body suits that are in like greys and whites. And then I also bought uh, the matching sleep suits that are in the greys and whites. Again, 12 to 18 months. I'm having issues with that. I just can't stand a growing up. And then another pack of bodysuits, 12 to 18 months in pinks and stuff. And then again, matching ones in the sleep suits because she's just grown out of everything and they were just too good to leave sat there. So yeah, so that's everything. Like I said, 99% of it's from Aldi. Um, I've really enjoyed going to Aldi. I've not been to Aldi in goodness knows how long um so normally i do asda but i've just found that asda is increasingly getting more and more expensive the substitutions are getting more ridiculous the out of stock items are getting ridiculous it's like they can't be bothered to pick them or something because as soon as i pick up the click and collect if i went in store or i have gone in store in the past and I've gone to these items that are apparently out of stock. The shelf is literally full of them. So I don't know what they're playing at. So because of that, I've gone back to Aldi. It's a really nice Aldi where I live. Very safe. They've got all the COVID measures in. So I don't feel um, at risk or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I've, I've enjoyed going. And I'm definitely going to go again. So this is it. I hope there's some stuff there that you've not seen before. Or that you might give a try. Or something that you've not had in ages. And yeah, I'm going to say goodbye. I hope it was helpful and I'll speak to you all in a bit. Actually, scrub that. I'm not going because I completely forgot to show you this. How cute is this? This little pancake ring. Now, I know it says pancake. Um, obviously, I thought I could use it for my um, Slimming World pancakes that I make using my Healthy Extra B. Or I did think that I can also use it to make a really nice, perfect round egg as well in the frying pan. Um, especially when I do like the breakfast bagels and stuff like that and I thought it'd be really good so yeah it comes with two and you could have either got the unicorn and um, there was a chicken one and then what was the third one? Oh, there was a flamingo but we went for unicorn because yeah too cute so yeah I just thought I'd show you that as well and that was the last thing I definitely got let me just double check 
yeah, definitely the last thing. Right, so I'm going to say goodbye again. Goodbye.